We're in the hamlet of Hochri, which is where <laughs> John McCaudrum, the last bard for the MacDonald clan, is buried. He was quite a character. I hope we can find his headstone. John McCaudrum dabbled in pro-Jacobite poetry. He is maybe regarded as one of the first satirists of the modern Gala poets. At the beginning of the 19th century, an amazing number of Highland bards existed. post culloden had ensured an upsurge. Barely a parish or clacken existed without its own poet. John McCaudrum started his satire very early. As a very young man, he wrote a poem for a wedding, and his father was so horrified by it, he made his son promise not to write any more. And the son kept that promise until the day his father passed away. His satire was such that the tailor on the island, after reading one of his poems, I presume it might him, refused to make him any clothes. So the MacDonald clan chief found him roaming in rags and tatters and asked him why. He explained the tailor had basically told him to sort off. MacDonald said, can I read some of this poetry? And as soon as he read it, he made him the bard for the MacDonald clan. John McCaudrum is fabled to have been the writer behind the Ossian poems. He was also very friendly with Flora MacDonald and would have visited her in Kingsborough. His best poems, all in Gaelic obviously, are Old Age and Whiskey. They seem particularly well so after poems. here. Um, it's, it's a really, really nice graveyard with really bizarre stone used, a lot of different, different stone used. I'm kind of getting the impression this must have been a McDonald's area. Almost all of the old gravestones here are McDonald's, the occasional Macaulay, but mostly McDonald's. John McDonald. William McDonald, Mary McDonald, oh, a lot of McDonald's here. I mean, you generally find that most of the places in Greece and Scotland you'll have a lot of people with the same name, certainly the Highlands anyway, but a lot of people with the same name because the way the class system worked. Most of the people from one particular area would have been under the same last name because you would take the name of the clan in that area. So they weren't necessarily like blood related, but you would take the name. And that name obviously carried on through the generations. Professor Blackie, who in 1841, at the age of 32, was appointed Professor of Humanity in Marischal College and University, was a renowned writer. His the language and literature of the Scottish Highlands mentions his regard for John McCaudrum and Duncan Van McIntyre from Glenorchy. I'll put a link to the Duncan Van McIntyre story here. Yet, with the passing of Van McIntyre, McCaudrum and bars like Ewan McLachlan, Alexander McKinnon and Alan McIntyre, the Golden Age had passed.